Nicki Minaj. Celebrity news. And shout out Nicki, the yeah. best, the best. Fe- Listen, man, the best female rapper in the game. So something that uh, Safari just said recently, um, a couple days ago, he admitted that he was hurt. By Nicki Minaj on screen kiss with Nas. This was like 10, 12 years ago. And I guess what he says is he was there the whole day when they were shooting this music video. And he was like, damn, did that happen when I left to go? She I took must her have shot. Left. He said, I must have left for like an hour. Nicki took her shot. Two hours. And I think that's when that, that scene happened, yo. Because he said, well, here, let's just play this real quick. He was there when she kissed Nas. <laughs> You wanna know what's so crazy? <laughs> I didn't know it happened until the video came out. Woo! Oh, Son of a- Joe's how much respect she had for I that was nigga. hurt when that shit happened. I was hurt. Yo, I was there the whole day. So like, it was a music video. Yeah. Yeah. That happened when I left to go. But men are different. Wait a minute. Holy shit! What the fuck? Listen, when when a woman does something like this. It, it, it kills all boundaries. And the reason why it does is because you, you should let a nigga know. If you are acting, you tell me you have a sex scene, then I'm going to respect that, right, if I choose to. But if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you no. But then you will tell me, hey, they paying me $5 million for this movie. So, right, so what's going to happen even if you said no? I mean, that's I say job. no, it's no. It's well, no. we want to see the weird thing about it to me, in my opinion, is you could say what you just said, it's her job, it comes with it. But why did she do it when he was gone? Because why didn't they do that scene while he was there the whole yeah. day? He's left He's for stupid. two hours out of 20 because days, 20 hours. she knew that hours. Safari is cat. very, like, sensitive. I'm going to hit every button on this guy. Don't. So y'all niggas understand this. She doesn't respect him. Or she knows no, that he's, she like, respect emotionally unintelligent. Women do these things because, listen, man, if your woman's fucking behind your back, she's talking to a man, DM a man, uh, following Instagramming. Let me tell you something. Girls are married to men, and they follow oh, men. Bitch. They follow men on Instagram. Okay? You can figure this out. If your girl doing anything and she's not communicating with you, she doesn't respect you. Nikki never respected him. He's a motherfucking puppet. He's a purse that she used for a sidekick. Beta bear. That's it. He's not a captain. He's not her hero. Women respect captains and heroes. That's it. How is this even a topic? They're not even like this. The point what it is is it goes into. Why Safari bringing her up? How long ago did they Because you got to understand, somebody on a podcast is bringing up like how did you feel he's telling you he felt hurt oh. but the point of the it is, reason well the real reason is real quick is because he's gonna always be tied to her name correct because if it wasn't for her nobody would know who the hell he is Listen, yeah. to her nobody would know who he is if it this wasn't nigga for her. Exactly. get a check do you know do you know so he gets a check from her listen there's nothing else to talk about when you interview safari other than Nicki minaj all, what else can listen, they talk about all the yeah. women he smashed today all the things he buy today all the things outside of hip hop, love, or whatever the fuck the show call, he's getting money from her. Alimony. She's still paying him. Right? But y'all women want the same from a man. So the difference between this is he was smart how he did it. He got a check. Just like Mary J. Bly husband did. Just like Nick Cannon did. Y'all know how Nick Cannon probably get a million dollars a month. Is that fair? $12 million a year for Mariah? But she's doesn't trip because she's worth three, four hundred million. And her kids are happy. Like, I heard Nick Cannon said, out of all the women he fucked, out of all the babies he had, Mariah's his prize. Still today, and he ain't even with her. Because there are certain women you have a connection with. And I'm going to just say this, because this show's winding down. Super thanks. Look in the camera real quick and let these people know. Give us a super thanks. Give us a super thanks. Get louder, man. You got to feel the thing. They ain't going to spend no money. Get louder. Get like Give, give us, us a super thanks. Ching, ching. Thank you. But I'm going to say this. Safari's I, I mean, he's he's not a captain. He's not he's not he's not a he's not a Jay Z. And and Nas is is a Jay Z. You women must look for men like Nas. You must look for men like uh, Giannis. You must look for men like that 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 are positioned to be better. Men who are elevators and not looking under you. And and a lot of problem with with with, with women who have power. They don't respect the men they date because they they. They, they, they become bigger than their husbands. They become bigger than their boyfriends. These niggas stop achieving. Do that make sense? Yeah. So if you keep achieving and he stays here, how are you going to respect him? Yeah. You going to respect him? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to help if it's my man. I'm I mean, going to bring him, him up if to you, speed if, but <laughs> where I'm at. The exception don't make a rule. If some women out here respect their man if they make money or not, and you women are awesome. 
Yeah. I, I think you women. I would bring my man up to my level. I agree. Where I'm at. Rihanna, and that's what I'm saying. If you got a, if you got more money than anything, you successful. Put your man to your level because yeah, the better he is, the better he can protect you. The better he is, the more he's going to value you. And that's why you become the prize. That's why I was saying earlier, you can become the prize. The man is the prize, but you become the prize. You can't come in a relationship saying I'm the prize unless you're Rihanna. Now, if I got Rihanna, of course you're the prize. I must do everything to try to get to your level or at least compete to protect whatever you're building. My job is to protect whatever you have. He failed at that. Period. He was running around cheating fucking women, fucking groupies while Nikki was out here getting money. And this is the nigga. It's you know what I mean, real quick before we get off the show. Ain't this the same nigga that told her not to rap? Yeah, so we hey, actually yeah. we covered this a few months back uh last year. Him, both him and his mother used to talk shit to her when she was writing raps before she made it, basically telling her she's not gonna make it, she's wasting her time. Yeah. Worry about getting money another way right now. He wouldn't be a millionaire today. Yeah, if she wasn't a rapper. They told there was an interview with her. I think she was on the breakfast. Period. He wouldn't be where he at without Nikki. That's why he said his name and her name is attached. Because there's nothing else you know him. So 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 at the end of the day, if it wasn't for her, nobody would even know he exists. At the end of the day, nobody came. Women who are in power, if you overachieve a man, but he's like your husband and you respect him. You must elevate your man, too. Just like a man who's doing well, you must elevate your wife. Right. You can't make your wife still look like she broke when you're looking right. rich. exactly. That's stupid. So I, I understand what you're saying by you're that. You're stupid. All I'm saying is, you listen, niggas like this, you're going to get jealous of your woman who's successful because men want her and high-tier men want her that you can't compete with. He can't compete with Nas. Nas beat him in every measure. Like, he beat him in every level. So, of course, he's going to be jealous. But listen, she doesn't respect him. She never respected him because all this, y'all don't know what she went through with this nigga. She tells you, this nigga used to do the most grimiest shit to a woman. And once a woman has success, she's like, fuck this. I don't have to accept this no more. I don't have to take your mental, that your mental her abuse. dog shit. I, I mean, listen, and this is why I respect Nikki. I don't care how many y'all hate on her. I don't care how y'all young people feel. Listen, Nikki, and I understand, I think Nikki needs to, she needs to stop the beef. I, I truly, and Nikki, I say this, stop the beef, work with all these young women, show that you better, because you could be making more money out here with these young, talented women. These girls going to hate on you because they want your spot. You I mean, you're done. You're solidified. Nobody's going to take your spot. If you look up Nikki right now and her record sales, she's, I think she's number one in, in, in Iggy Zyla, number two in the most records sold in music uh, genre for hip hop. So Nikki, nobody's taking your spot. I mean, it's going to be like somebody trying to be a LeBron James. Good luck. But all I'm going to say is this. Men must understand the value of a woman and know how to compete or get to a woman's level. If you're not going to do that, why even date the woman? Say, I'm not good for you. I'm not good enough. And then let the woman choose and say, hey, I'm going to help you get to this level. And it's not a, you're not a pussy if your woman makes more money than you. You just got to figure how to get a figure a way you could place yourself in her life to help her sister, just like a woman must do for me. Just be an asset, not a liability. Exactly. Just be exactly. an asset. Just like a, if I'm I'm millionaire, that's what I'm saying. If I'm the prize, you can become the prize. Come in my life and show me what you can do to help me. Make my life easier. And then you become the prize. Because once you become the prize, I can't get rid of you. Everything, my business will fail without you. So I'm going to keep you around and I'm going to stay more loyal. And then I realize, like, fuck all these bitches. Like, fuck all these hoes. Fuck everybody. This woman has been there. That's why Gucci man, I'm going to say it again. Gucci man and his wife is so successful. You could, y'all don't want to go through the mud. Y'all don't want to go to the dirt to get to be successful. And and when you get as a, there's just like certain levels of going through the mud with your man. Like, hey man, the ones who last. And this is why I, this is why I go to back to Will Smith over. and Jada. That's why I go back to Will Smith and Jada. I respect the twenty years, but I don't respect what Jada did in them twenty years. Period. You can't make your man look. Nah. So we don't think that Will did anything those 20 years, I don't know. Though? We got to, we'll talk about it. In her book, she talks shit about him. She doesn't say he cheated. He was an asshole. He, she doesn't say he was a narcissist. She says nothing that he was abusive. It's not like, it's not like she was dating OJ. She doesn't say it. So if she said it, then I say, okay, that makes sense. But she's not saying it. He's a good man. Go look. He's respected. He's a good man. She Savannah. only, she says positive things, but she does him dirty. That's exactly. All. She said all Her the positive are different. All the positive things in the world, but treat this nigga like shit. And that's why I don't respect Will Smith. And I say, Will, leave her. Go get a 
go get another young black woman or a white woman. Show the world that you're different. And listen, I mean, 25 year olds out there, man, they 25 year olds looking for you. Will listen, 30, 31 year old women are looking for you with no kids. You can start a family over and be stress free. Go, go to Africa with Mink Mills. Trust me, it'd be good for you. Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Cash, Cash Money Dream Podcast. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys click over here to subscribe and to watch more, click over here. And to keep this production going, because we're doing a lot of crazy work, make sure you guys on the bottom of the video do super thanks. We appreciate it. It's your boy Cash, Cash Money Dreams. We out of here.